Well, the spending bill passed by Congress over the weekend is expected to bring $490 million to Hawaii. The funds are earmarked for military construction, native Hawaiian education and health care, plus highway improvements. And when signed by the president, the bill would also fund disaster preparedness, the East-West Center, and other projects. However, the state's proposal for $49 million in federal funding for early childhood learning came in dead last among 35 other states. Hawaii was one of 35 plus Washington, D.C. and Puerto Rico vying for $500 million in the Race to the Top Early Learning Challenge. Hawaii scored 135 out of 280 points. Only Puerto Rico did worse. Now, some of the criticisms that the plan was minimally implemented and of low quality. Early Childhood Coordinator Terry Locke said, and she said a lot of money would have gone to help lower income families, especially on the Leeward Coast, Ka'u, Pahoa, and Farrington communities. She says Hawaii's programs are already behind, in part because Hawaii is one of only 10 states that does not fund preschool programs. And budget cuts in recent years have made matters worse. In a news conference on the budget today, the governor agreed. How badly did we need that money? Uh, we need it badly because we have not really put a lot of resources into our infrastructure, into the system that we have in our state. We haven't been able to make the initial investments uh, to this point that, that all of us want to. Now the governor says they hope to fund an early learning council so the state can come up with a game plan for early childhood education. And next legislative session, Locke says she'll be at the state capitol pushing lawmakers to include additional funds for early childhood learning. Now, two out of the five reviewers that scored Hawaii's plan, uh, they scored as high as 162, but one of them gave a mere 23 out of a possible 280 possible points, saying Hawaii's plan was way too ambitious for what it appeared would they be able to truly implement.